The Obama administration has pledged to end homelessness among veterans by the end of 2015. And while the rate has been dropping, time is running short. David Dyer is part of a team of veterans hired by the state of Massachusetts to help homeless veterans off the streets of Boston. I guess you, just the passion I have for, for veterans and, you know, knowing what they go through out here on the streets. Dyer himself was homeless and dealing with drug addiction when he met another vet who asked him to join the veteran homeless team. Dyer now has a home, a family, and a job. And that's, you know, that's a, that's a big thing in recovery. You know, if you're not, if you're, if you're not out there helping somebody, your chances of, you know, staying in recovery and, 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 and staying clean really aren't, aren't that good. Typically, Dyer and his teammates spend one day a week roaming the city looking to help the homeless. The rest of the week is spent making sure those who have found housing are staying on course. It's a hard thing, you know. It's a tough life. It really is. The veterans that are chronically homeless are moved into a house or apartment as soon as possible. Once the vet gets into a house, officials arrange the support services the veteran will need to stay there. Typically, the federal government pays most of the costs for the home through a voucher. The Department of Veteran Affairs picks up some of the other costs. Thomas Moore is one of the estimated 58,000 veterans living on the street. I don't want a home. It's like, this is my home right now. Despite Moore's insistence that he does not want their help, the veterans' homeless team doesn't plan to quit asking him if he's ready to change his mind. Bob McCall, Associated Press.